Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Now this week we are reviewing this Datafrog 620D console. This console hosts 8-bit games. It models itself off a PlayStation 1 as depicted on the front image on the front of the box. So before we get into this review guys let me just state that I've actually unboxed this already. If you've watched my previous video I have stated that sadly this week five of my projects which are completed are sadly no more. My hard drive decided to wipe itself out. <laughs> Now that is the hard drive in that EVGA SC15. The link for that video should be in the right hand corner just here and it will be at the end of this video too. So yes, most of my reviews are done this week so I'm just going through the old videos. So let's just get on and let's see what's inside the box. But do us a favor guys, in a stressful week, please click that like button and well, let's just delve right in. Okay, so to the top of the box, we have PlayStation look alike console which is very very small compared to the original one look at that we do have two gaming controllers and those buttons seem to be quite spongy now i will say that these don't have dedicated buttons so you do indeed have firing buttons and jump buttons here the start button which is your select button gain those directional controls do have a spongy feel to them Nope, you don't get any trigger buttons on these controllers, but they do come with a lengthy USB cable. So again, as mentioned, everything's untangled because we've actually reviewed this before. So we have one AV cable, one power cable, which is a micro USB cable. So yes, indeed, you can use a basic USB cable to power this little console today. Now, because this is a foreign power brick, we do have a UK power adapter that's exactly what's inside the box and we're looking back at the console itself so the front as we can see we got the two usb ports for those controllers now that top lid doesn't flip open like the original playstation one it is indeed solid just like the button to the right they're just for show to the left though we've got the power button and the reset button to the rear we do have that micro usb power port and that single pin av port too that's about it Oh yes, we do have the four missing pads to the bottom. Yeah, that's going to slide about a lot. But the less though, let's plug it in. And let's see what actual games we get. Now, before we get started, you may need one of these adapters. This will enable you to use your AV cable on your TV if you haven't got those AV ports to the back. Let's go ahead and turn it on. So yes, we've got the same menu, which is on that Nintendo Retro Game Console, which we previously reviewed on our channel. Going through some of the listings, I've actually noticed one slight fault, and that is that the games are repeated. Just like we've got Super Mario, Mario 3, Mario 6. We do get to the 300 game mark, and well, as you can see, we have the same games listed. What should we play? Super Mario? <clears throat> well, as you can tell, Mario was a bit pixelated. There was a slight bit of distortion on the screen, a bit of static going on, but give a less, the background graphics ain't too bad. Well, like I mentioned again, 8 bit graphics. Well, the sound effects are exactly the same as the original Mario. The controls are totally spongy, I mean, and there's a bit of a delay with the jumping. Yeah, there's a slight bit of a delay. Let's have a look here. Jump. Jump. Jump's not too bad, it's just the directional controls are a slight bit fussy. Oh yeah, Mario seems to be working kind of well. Whee! So we're going to play Turtles Tournament Fighters. So play CPU, I shall play my son. Ah, play my son. I'll whoop him anyway. Go Ninja, go Ninja, go! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, hang on a sec. I've just got beat by a kid. He's born in 2007. Oh, what are you doing to me? How did you do that? Man. <laughs> do you know what? My controller's not working. It's because it's a button mashing. Nah. Because you cheated? Tech Mode presents 1990. This game was made in 1990. Ninja Game 2. See? This is what we get. 1990, this is story mode. 
cozy. Here we go. Oh, what's his problem? Jakku has been defeated. Just as I thought. What about the ninja? He knows nothing yet. Good. Continue the plan. What shall I do about the ninja dragon, sire? Nothing. No further need for him. At least not for now. Follow the plan exactly. Now go! Yes, sire. Got a cup of tea as well. The time shall come. When? I can't be bothered waiting for the end of the story. Oh, she looks like she's down for the toilet. Uh, check her out. <laughs> oh, Angry Bird. <laughs> so it's got the same concept as the one on the Android devices. Whee! Oh, that was crap. Oh, we got a paper boy. Mysterious vandalism baffles police. Yeah, it's me, Jack and Gaz. Nay, nay, nay. Riding my bike on the pavement, I don't care where I go. I'm delivering papers to your window. Smash. Yeah. <laughs> hey, eyes, you people. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I killed. 1993 Tetris. Silent music. Ah. Yeah. Guess what I'm seeing? Yes, you see no, I'm seeing no with a bat to the front to the back window, full window, back window, see yes, I'm bigger than a bigger than a bigger than chest with a motherfucker, I get a bat, make me spag in the track, pick up shit with a motherfucker, yo, motherfucker, no, motherfucker, day, motherfucker, that, motherfucker, that, that, fucking way. What, Humber Man? Sure, that's Bomber Man. It's Bomber Man. Remember this back in the days? Yeah, boy, you're gonna. One thing I would say that's kind of annoying straight away is not only this song repeating every 10 seconds, but when you press that reset button, it will reset you onto the very first menu. But if you're on game, say, 310, and you press reset, you will indeed go back to that very first menu. Now, you can skip that menu and go up in 8s, so 8 to 16, 16 to 24, and so on by pressing the right button. Or you can go down singular to choose. Oh, we got Donkey Kong. One and two, let's have a look. Remember this in the arcade? Go. Shit, am I gonna make it? Come on, come on. Oh! Ah, we got Pac-Man. Let's see if it's uh, just like the original. Ah, guys, this select button isn't redundant after all, so some particular games, if you press select, it will choose player one or two. Come on! Ah, oh, the controls, what's up? There's too much of a delay in this oh, controller. It didn't, I pressed down. I press, I swear down, I pressed down. So you press up. Gonna skip. Look, it skipped it. I pressed up. No, down. No, there's there's too much of a delay. I mean, some games it's not noticeable, but because you've got to be precise. Yes! Yes! Look at me cheering, it's on the first level. So yeah, guys, um, got some good games on this uh, console. Um, Mega Man as well, that's a not a bad game. Yeah, they've got a good list of games. The console's not too bad, like I said, the um, directional controls are not exactly the best in the world. But again, I wish there was a reset button up on the controllers. Having to get up all the time and press reset is a pain in the body. The only other point I would make is that these controllers are rather flimsy. I mean, these are super light. And I do think that the controllers, if you look very carefully, could break kind of easily. So yeah, kind of fragile. But if I was to rate this gaming console today, that's my usual rating out of 10. 
then I'm gonna give this data for console a rating of, you know what, I'm gonna be generous, I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. Because over the past couple of hours, I've been having some great fun. And the fact that you get two gaming controllers, good in hand, a lot smaller than obviously the PlayStation 1 controllers, and yeah, even though they do have spongy feeling buttons, and those directional controls are not certainly the best, I just enjoy the whole concept really. So yes, I will leave a link for this retro console in the video description down below, as well as that's previously reviewed Nintendo retro console that also has, well, 620 games, it's more like 310. Most consoles, just like this one, if stated that they have a thousand games, are most likely to have around 3 to 400, rather than that large figure stated. Also, it's got track and field, which is great for keeping those fingers exercised. <sighs> We're you talking about I won? Well, yeah, guys, I did actually do a better previous review of this console. Unfortunately, it got deleted off my hard drive. But nevertheless, we got the video uploaded, and I hope you guys stick around for my very next one. So, yes, thanks for watching, guys. But please, first, like this video down below. Please subscribe to this channel just now. Making sure, yes, you hit that bell notification option so you guys stay updated on all my new uploads. Now, I'm going to play a bit more of this track and field. We're going to play some more games. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the day. So you guys enjoy the rest of yours. And thanks for watching. Peace! <laughs> CPU got beat. <laughs> I'm gonna go